Spoke with a caller, in all one for need, police assistance. Yep. Hey, back seaters. Uh, welcome back. Rev and I are out here in uh, Frogtown a little bit, but you know that uh, the CAT team was unable to. CAT team was really, really busy yesterday, and and Pat was in the middle of something serious today, too, so. Rev and I decided we'd do a little short live on patrol. Well, who knows how short it will be <laughs> tonight and uh, Thursday night. Hopefully you've watched the weather report by now. The top three news stories. You're getting ready to figure out what, what to watch next. Tough call. I mean, it's a really tough call between Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and Rev Spence. There's the there's the What do you what do you what kind of monologue you got tonight, Rev? I mean, you got any anything? Is anybody available to help us? Uh, Hang on. I've got right inside, trying to find him. Think he might have barricaded himself in one of the rooms. 575 Maryland Ave. Copy. Can you get spot checked this? DSC 21 at 575 Maryland Avenue West for a mail date rain and slide possibly barricaded in the fall. 2420 Avenue. 2 Copy. Copy. Wow. That was interesting, Kerb. But when you talk about the monologues, man, do you know how long they have to sit? <laughs> For what? For how long they do it? Half hour? For what? To listen to their monologue? They do it. You know, how long do they actually stand there at the beginning of the show and do their monologue? Probably, yeah, it's 20 minutes anyhow, right? Right. But they do it, take them all day to figure out what they're going to say. Well, they don't write their own stuff. Either. I know. They got amazing writers. Amazing. Amazing writers. And you're going to call me and say, all right, go. They got amazing writers. And I, and I, and I, I like them both, Fallon and Kimmel. I'm a Kimmel fan. I'm a little more, I, I, I'm more likely to watch Kimmel. Me too. I know I'm going to watch Kimmel. Yeah. So, but, uh, I mean, there's just some good humor. There's some clever writing. Clever writing. Clever writing. Yeah. Great writers. You know what else? I told I mentioned this before. TMZ. Listen to Harvey on TMZ is good humor. You can cancel one eight five single. Oh, disregard. Twenty twenty. Yeah, we're not going to get too much detail, but there is a attempted pickup on a party wanted up here, and. Uh, Apparently, either ran into the building or ran away. So, we're going to head up in that area, Dale in Maryland, and see if anything else evolves. Like if he's on the run. Remember, Rev's the Eagle Eye. Remember, he spotted the fire of the car fire? <laughs> I remember that. Bravo 1, 7 1 EOD. That was a good day. That was a yeah. great day. Take the dust off our windshield here, just in case. Is that song about dust on the windshield? No, it's So what else happened today, Rev? Anything interesting? No, we had a pretty good day uh, downtown. We uh, Andre, like I told you earlier, he somebody identified him, and he was so so proud that moment. You know, somebody knew who he was. Yeah, if you recognize Andre Star Wars when he's out there, folks, don't be afraid to say hi to him. Right. Or Rev, Rev, of course. Well, I know you're gonna say hi. Hello, everyone. I don't know if I said that tonight. 
it uh we did have a guy come to us to, uh yesterday and was gonna you. beat us up. We were able to talk him back to Sam. Welfare check. Caller is looking That's to have good. welfare no. check done on the father and or children who are not responding to our insurance concerned. Just a little, calls, text, or emails. Children are okay. years old. Uh, off, you know, mental health stuff. Yeah. yeah. But we, the good thing is we're able to realize it, and because somebody else is not being kind, we know to be kind and to try and help him however we can. So yeah. we were able to talk him down off of it, whatever whatever reason he was mad at us that we still couldn't figure out. Uh, he wanted us to let him in the building. Yeah, he, had his key in his hand. he had the key right in his hand. So okay. that wasn't what he wanted. He didn't want, he just wanted an argument. He wanted somebody to fuss with. Thank you, sorry. So yeah, but other than that, we've had a great day. The uh the uh training center has been very crowded. Today was the last Wild hockey game, home game, or probably last game of the season. So it was a lot of wild fans. So we were able to uh, I'm code for now. talk I to have, them. Uh, we were able to talk to those the wild fans. We had some kids come in, and they were just as happy as they could be because we were playing with them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, the wild didn't make the playoffs. Right. Very sad. Very sad. And, uh, but the Wolves are in the playoffs, right? Yes. And I was just watching. They, uh, one channel said if uh, Denver wasn't in it, they'd pick the Wolves to win it all. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Except they haven't beat They played Phoenix, right? They, but they, haven't, beat, they haven't beat they lost, them. They lost three times. But I, they didn't have, I don't think they had all our players. Right. But I think Edwards is going to step up and do something different this time. This is 2600 7th Avenue, checking the welfare of. Uh, a male who is just, we're not sure if this party they think the party ran in the house but just in case he fled we're sort of hanging out I uh <laughs> this is, did I tell you last week that I started going to a chiropractor no, you did not mention that you're going to chiropractic. So, I didn't even know you had any problems. Well, I got a military injury that causes my left, my right shoulder no. bad, but now my left shoulder is getting bad. Well, maybe you shouldn't even be out here going live on patrol. Oh, case, I'm here. In case we need you. All, both of these work. <laughs> See, one thing I know about this business is you never tell the opposition what part of your body is injured. Right. So. Except if you want them to know, so they target it and they get surprised. Yeah, they, they go. They go. <laughs> but uh, I've never been to a chiropractor. Well, I went to the chiropractor. Okay, now are you gonna tell me that you enjoyed it? It was it, the fear of my life was somebody cracking my back. That doesn't even sound right. No. But the guy did it so. I was like, wow, what? A, so guess what? What you feel better? No I couldn't pain? do this last week. Okay, well that's awesome. Yeah, I can literally use my hand like I used to. That's amazing. So it's a, that quick, huh? The, that, the nerves were blocked, and he did that. The lady quick. started. She did something on my back. Yeah. She was rubbing it. I don't think you should tell Bev that you had a lady chiropractor. She was the massager. <laughs> that's worse, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but it was right there. I mean, can I say the name of the place? It's Lynn Lake. Sure. Right on uni uh, on Snelling, Lynn Lake. I've never seen it. It's in the old fire department. Yeah. Lynn Lake, Cairo, and man, they did a wonderful, man. That's good. I'm glad that worked out for you. So, yeah, I've been scared of a chiropractor. I'm 60 years old, and I was scared of a chiropractor. Yeah, I don't blame you. I used to, I'm still scared of the colonoscopy guy. Yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm scared of the crap. I'm really excited for it. I can tell you're really. Up yeah. Here, huh? I and the guy really. He, he, Josh, I think that's the doctor's name. Josh. Yeah. Great, great job. I mean, he he convinced me it wasn't gonna hurt. <laughs> so. What was the 
preacher. Orville. Orville the preacher. Orville the preacher that used to heal. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of them. It's a whole bunch of them. I hope Patterson's listening. He'll text me their names. Lexington, Target Service Road on the left side. You guys aren't as old as me. Or Roberts. Oral, Oral Roberts is one of them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he said Oral. I had to. Oral, Oral Roberts. Yeah, yes. Oral Roberts. His son's still out here. Wheeler at St. Anthony for suspicious. There's a gray SUV parked in the intersection. It's over four hours. I wanted to advise them about a call 23 for a patient who has shortness of breath. What's the recovery? Oh. Six seven o'clock. Well, we're eastbound on Maryland Avenue coming up on 35E. Take a little swing through the uh, parking lot, the foundry. 5182. 5182. I wonder if anybody even on. knew we were on tonight, huh? What do you think, bro? How many people are watching on yeah, Facebook? I bet they're here. Can you please they're put here. us out on the PPV at the uh, Temple of Aaron? There's a nice looking congregation. We're up to 593 right there. Okay. Well. So, uh, guess what, Backseaters? We, well, one, one, most importantly, what was he doing? I don't know. We'll go okay, back. thank you. You want to talk to him? No. Give some copies. He's hanging out the door. Do you see him? Well, that's okay. His wife probably doesn't want him to smoke in the car. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking a little bit. He doesn't want to get it all doped up. Did he get on his finger? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much the finger. Yeah, and they're over here saying, got him. And so whatever he got, he tried to put Dude, it. I don't think he knew we were the cops. No. Well, they're walking away now. The guy at the door said, got him. Yeah, Mike, we're going to have to have, if you're listening, Mike, you're going to have to have a little talk to your security about some of the uh, parties down here. We didn't do nothing. No. That's a double negative. We didn't do something. Didn't do nothing. And the other guy sitting in the he car. You don't want his car to get towed. There's no plate on that car, you know. People use that that threatening way about them just to give us some grief, you yeah. know? It's kind of sad. Like you're tough. It's very tough. Let's just see. Hi! How are you, Sox fans? Your friend don't like us or what? All right. Oh, I Hey, Rob, just do me a favor. Take that flashlight, run around the back. I'll keep him occupied and get that license plate off that car, will you? We just go sneak around the back of that Durango. I'm going to sneak. Yeah, you're a sneak. You're a sneaker. <laughs> right. You're a sneaker. No one's going to notice you, Rob. Right. No one's going to notice you. Grab, just grab the plate. Yeah. In case there ain't no plate. There's nobody out here. I'm just you all that. Hey, can one or more of you join us at the Foundry parking lot? Hello. Six one six. Six one six. I wasn't able to get back and check out the Unify State. Uh, 
have you. Hold on. Well, good. I'm glad. What is it? Well, good. You don't have to be disrespectful just for the I hell of it. Uh, absolutely, but it, it doesn't. Well, we're doing is sitting here, young man. But besides that, we're not Oakland A's I fans. We're, men, so we're not Oakland A's. Huh? You're not a young man? 2165. No, yeah, I am. 2165. Do you come Do you come here often? I'm a huh? I'm not, I'm not going anywhere, okay? Okay, I, I, I don't... Huh? That's fine. I don't care how you get home. By the way, tell Mike I don't want this guy in there anymore. He's done. Thirteen hundred pain. Two vehicles, no injuries. Fire just rolled yep. up on their own scene. They're all checking as well. You good? If I have this thing, just tow back to five vessels. Two three six. Confirmed fire. One of the vehicles actually did leave the scene. Uh, black Monte Carlo. Yeah, whatever you like. So he yeah, walked no home. He don't want to get in. back in the car. Can you get back in the car? I'll just have a tow back there on your way. Yeah, maybe see if you can open the door if there's a vent, but I'm guessing if they cut the one out of the dash, the one on the door is gone too. Hey, Odie, is that you pulling in? Yep. As you make three quarters of that circle, you see that Nissan facing east as you come around right there. Can you run the vent on there? Got no plate. Three seven six. And then I guess the suspect. We don't often get uh, assholes here, you know that, right? Right. But usually, uh, I don't notice him. He, he doesn't look familiar. No, he doesn't come here. The guy said he's gonna walk home. Yeah, we're able to find a vent on this thing. Uh, I'm gonna run that, but let me know if you need me over towards you guys and I'll head that way. I think this guy's coming out. Yeah, you're gonna have to go that way. Anyhow, the occupants in there were, uh, well, one of them was a complete asshole. Let me put it that way. And all three got out, and the one uh, nobody wants to be attached to the car. Seven seventy one Charles. It has a temp tag on the back. Yeah, no, we saw that. Yeah. I just went. Hey, hey. The match? Yeah. Yeah, that's clear. Who's the who's the owner? Jihad Muwata. Like M U dash W A T T A. I don't know. That didn't seven seventy one Charles. Alright. Yeah, we're live. Right. Thank you. Gotcha. Um just hang here with us for a few minutes. Sounds good. Until Mr. Oakland Athletics comes out. He what, said he gonna walk home. What did you think? Did you think that guy could have that last name? No. No. Well, right? we do know Mawata, but that's not none of them was Mawata that we know. Right. Right. And I don't know that that's how Mawata spells his name. Spelled his name. Hey, how old? Is, what's the date of birth on the? Uh, just give, don't give me the, just give me the year on the, on the owner. Oh, 
All right. That right, could be then. Yeah. All right. We're going to roll. Well, good. Thank you for your help. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can press watch channel 2 and 3. Our site for 15 drives me to did you kick him off? 364, I copy and around to suspicious 707 yeah. yeah. Yaha Avenue. There were two people that were snooping around in the lot. The address of the car dealership, possibly a male and a female. Where's that at? Caller stating it looks like they may be taking off with the vehicle. Odie, this You're is on our the buddy. Of the lot. Can I get a flash on Where are we going? 364. Oh, I head to that uh, east call. Coming. Catch you later. Which one you had to tell me? 220 Tango, 220 Tango. I didn't copy the address. I'm looking at my phone. Entire lot, they were suspicious activity, maybe. 226 Tango to us, Sergeant to copy. 694 Western Avenue. Shots fired, one caller heard three shots to the north, slightly east of the caller's address. Darren, some people, whatever you want to get there, sorry. We can check it out tomorrow if you want. 226 Tango copies. Yeah, we're trying to open that right now. Three shots here to the north. That's my least to the address. That's my car. Yeah. Well, let's we're go to the main call. Looks like they're taking a the car there. But there's also shots Happy fired on Western. Copy that. Two things are tangled. Two things are tangled. Why don't you back that yeah, up? My way. Look at that 707 Mini Ha call. 275, 277. Uh, 707. It's a Mini Ha, yeah. There's yeah. Read them. Read them all for the viewers, too. Snooping around in the car lot. Uh, is That's a car. The address is a car dealership. Possible male and female. Seen this through his camera. So somebody sees it through their camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like they have made taken something off of a vehicle. They are on the south side of the lot. Okay. So, we're going to sway down there, we're going to slide down to... I'll be following a line of designations for two. 707 though, right? Yep. Yeah. Right by the damn police department. Pain and stroll. Yeah, the stroll. The police department said pain and mini right? Yep. Oh. By the church. The party that left the mini hour in the middle of the 60s, 5-2, heavy build. Nice wearing a gray jacket, black hat, khaki pants, white and gray backpack. Walked out of gate 2 towards 7th Street, and it does look like there's going to be a pretty much very room for a month. description? Or is Nothing that, else, no. Just it looked like Diego. they took something out. We got a, uh, speaking officers that can respond to us as well. Check the air for you, once again, officer. 272, for this GLA, I can go. Looks like the owner of the car lot is who's he's watching, watching his camera. camera. Yeah. yeah, which is good. That's the way to do business nowadays. And if you, cameras can now send you a motion thing, right? Like you know, there's motion in your lot. Actually, yeah.
Champagne and Minihaha and Stroh's is right here. Carlot's right next to it. Alright, Rev Eagle Eye. What do we got? We got a car over there. Well, I just had a guy come on, car come on. Start to on the track and after he's doing, he's going to visit his friend. He's at 8 6 here on Geranium. As he's running the plate. Alright, looks like the PD is here. I don't know what they've discovered, but the PD is in the. One of us has a like. Yeah, he went back to his truck. Now he's leaving. Now he got his plate in his bin. He just kind of came up and started snooping around the truck and then said he's going to see his friend. Walked into the front porch and now he's leaving. What's that noise? Did you hear that? Yeah, like siren. Siren. Yeah, but it wasn't ours. It wasn't like a house siren. 399. 399. You know, you get motion, motion in front of your house, you get a siren going off. That Is there an available plaza that can check the area of Ruth and Old Hudson for the involved party on my call? He has a cops alert for a felony. 39-14, 39-26. We're good, we're done. Yeah. Copy, Ashley. Should go back to that shot. Fire on scene 24 to 874. Fire on east requesting more mental health and domestic situations. See if anything's popping over there. So while Rev is uh, checking out that shot, fired at Western. Just, Nothing uh, else. Huh? Nothing else came out. Heard three shots north and slightly we, uh, east. A couple things. You saw the post today on Facebook about Tunnels of Towers. And uh, it's a fundraiser for law enforcement, military, first responders, etc. And Primarily, the money goes to the families, usually families with children, of law enforcement officers that are killed in the line of duty. Of course, there's military as well. I mean, Tunnel to Towers talks about the firefighters, police officers running through the tunnels to get to the towers to rescue people. Color has an order of protection and so, a suspect com uh, contact is a com. Obviously that's 20. Anyways, on the way to location, suspect's name is Trenton Butler. You guys wouldn't believe it, this truck is there. drive, has no idea. 23 how years ago, of course. But what, what, the, what the foundation does is help families who lost... Yep, we got the vent out the door, came back to the red... Who five, lost a loved one in the line of duty. Uh, comes back clear and... Up. They were a huge help to Dallas Edderburn's family. His wife, Jess, and his son, Bennett. Huge help. And I'm aware of several other that have lost their lives that they've been... And, of course, in the Burnsville case, there's they, have, they came through big time as well. So... What the foundation does is raise money so that it's in a position to help families. Quite often what they, they might do is pay off a mortgage or make sure people can stay in their home. And uh, very, very appreciative. So on May 11th, Saturday, May 11th, they're having a slash sit and talk to Bob and Pat and Rev, you know. <laughs> Whatever your pleasure is. We'll get a treadmill out there for us. We can just we can do a treadmill while we're talking to people, right? There you go. Don't you think that'd be a good idea? And uh, we will have a number of members of the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office out there, as well as the public. It's in Burnsville, of course, but if you want to register to attend, there's a link on our Live on Patrol Facebook page. 
and uh, there's a code there to register. We'd love to have you be part of Team Ramsey County, Ramsey County Sheriff's Office team. So that's number one. If you can uh, join us Copy. for the Tunnel to Towers Foundation event, May 11th, nine o'clock. We'll have a lot of law enforcement equipment out there too for kids. So bring your kids out there and uh, if you want us to watch them while you're going on a, <laughs> yeah, on, on a run, Six, three. So be it. And also, Hotel Hotel Tango 339. So that's number one. Number two, Cinco de Mayo. We are going to help out, the Sheriff's Office is going to help out with some of the safety and security needs at Cinco de Mayo on May 4th. Okay? May 4th. So, but we've decided, Pat and I have decided with consulting with a number of others that we're going to do our 24-hour marathon the afternoon of May 3rd through May 4th. Rev, are you up for that? Yeah. Come on, Rev. What do you mean? Yeah. You're missing something? my phone beat. It's right over here. Oh, you I got, got you it. covered. No, no, it's right Good over job. here. Good job. It's right over here. Is it a beep? It's something. What is all that you got? I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, May 3rd, roughly 6 p.m. We'll start on May 3rd. And we're going to go through Cinco de Mayo. We'll be live from Cinco de Mayo. For 24 hours, we'll go to 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on May 4th. Doesn't that sound fun? That sounds fun. May 3rd to May 4th. 24 hour marathon. Friday night through Cinco de Mayo. 886 Syndicate on an alarm. It's going to be a team effort. Team effort. Because Rev and I need some sleep. Right. Team effort. Let me see that other phone there. Nothing's happening. You're hogging that phone there. Jesus, scream me. What do we got going here? Alarm sound. That's it? Whatever happened to that? 185 Tango. Shots fired? No, the guy in Maryland. 575 Maryland, the warrant. You can cancel 121. Copy 120, you can be clear. Oh, we got him. Mail in custody. Just had a warrant to, to go into the house and arrest them. Good for them. The Department of Corrections, their fugitive warrant squad was out here. Every once in a while, the fugitive team from the Department of Corrections, Corrections comes and looks for their bad offenders. We don't know who he was, but if they're out on a Thursday night, he wasn't a good one. Right. As they far as wanted to get him. Yeah. Definitely out on a Thursday night. Didn't sound like they were expecting him to run in the house, but. Had to say goodbye. Yeah. So, the Fugitive Task Force of the Department of Corrections is also a certified law enforcement agency. Wasn't always. Director Leiden, that you've listened to ride with Mike, he used to head that up oh. when he was with the Department of Corrections. Oh, yeah. That was one of his tango. jobs. Good. Yes, to be clear. Prairie Alarm Company. Did you see the tour of the comm center? Yes. I commented on it. Oh, yeah. You don't pay attention. Well, I can't read all the comments. Over <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful building, huh? Yeah. Tango, did you copy for just a and this week is National Telecommunicators Week, where we honor the telecommunicators and the dispatchers for the amazing job they do. And we are dependent, our safety is dependent on them. And we thank them for always looking out for us. Getting us good information is critical. 
know, pre-arrival information is as important as anything. While you're going to a call, you like oh, to know. Oh, do you think this thing's worth swabbing since it's on its own plate in it, or just leave it? Yeah, if the car's clear, I won't worry about it. Uh, but I figured, thank you. Peaceful drive up Johnson Parkway, huh, Ralph? Yeah. I haven't been this way in a I used to go. When, when did you go to the chiropractor? Today? No, I went, uh, what's the day? Yesterday. Because after you get that massage and that back cracking, did you go home and take a nap? No, I went to work. I work for John Bob Fletcher. You ever met that guy? He don't sleep, so how you gonna sleep? Well. <laughs> 9173. You were on the couch when I called you tonight, weren't you? I had man, I was in recline. I just kicked my feet up. And Beverly laugh. I'm laughing right now. Well, you can say no. You know that, right? No, I'm not saying no. Well, you okay. can. You have the right to say no. I mean, right. if you're tired. That sounds right, like, you sound like Cal Meester right there. Avenue, the caller is going to be at that address. He says that to you? He tells yeah, you to say he no? he always says, you know you can say no. Oh, for crying out loud, <laughs> Cal. <laughs> Cal takes care of me and Andre. He's like our big brother. Yeah. And I think we're the oldest. But, yeah. He's a lot of people's big brother. Who He's knows? the big brother. We love him. Everybody loves Cal. He's dead. He used to have me drinks in his uh, refrigerator. He doesn't have them anymore. He always has fruit, though. That's good. So the cat team stopped a car today that had eight children in it. Eight? Yep. Eight. Which one was driving? Oh, the 15-year-old. He was the oldest. That's I knew it had to be. There's no way. He was the oldest. Wow. Great Jack with the black shirt in the middle. The car was not stolen. Black shirt on a jam. But the driver did not have a license, of course. So we took the driver to his father. Right? Uh huh. Uh, and we thought maybe she would appreciate the fact that we got her kid off the street not driving with eight other kids in a car, right? Right. She wasn't that appreciative. Very disappointing, right? I don't know how you can conclude that our cat team was harassing. Yeah, when he didn't have a license, he's driving eight kids in a car. He's 15. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't even their car, which is a whole other issue. Oh, wow. And of course, we, didn't, we don't have time to check all the insurance issues, but we don't believe the car had insurance. There was no insurance in the car. I'd like to think about eight kids having a bad car accident. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> and it wasn't a three-seater. Wow. Little things like that, though, help. You know, you, you just... Those are the types of things that potentially stop someone from seriously getting hurt. Of course, we knew several people in the car that had previously been arrested for stealing cars. Oh, wow. So the question is, is that progress? For eight of them to be in one car. Driving a car that wasn't stolen. So, were they going to be getting there? I don't know. We don't know where they where they at. I'm going to drop you off here. and <laughs> Destination was, we don't know. I'm still thinking about that guy at the uh, foundry. Yeah. 
Well, he probably had some bad experiences in life. Yeah, that's that's one reason. I don't know how you you just get out of the car, giving us the finger right away. That's you know that's a defense mechanism some people use. They figure if they come on hard that the police are less likely to talk to them. Hey, by the way, did you see, uh, not tonight, but last night, Jay Coles did a story about a teacher in at South Minneapolis that got fired because she was complaining that there were fights in the schools, and she was reporting the fights, and she accused the administration of covering up the fights. So she got fired. And she went to the school board to make her case that, you know, you have no idea how, how many fights there are, what's the tenor of stuff. stuff. And I, I ran into a teacher tonight that works in Minneapolis that was telling me how true it is that the fights never get reported to police. And we know that from Harding, that several Harding calls. Right, right. I guess my, my point is that right now at the end of the school year, you know, this is the mo most, most frequent time of fights. Right? right, end of the last month in school, and we're not even in the last month to be honest with you. But because of the warm weather, Minnesota King Robert George. But it's clear that the tension in the schools is bubbling. Right, right. No school resource officers in most city schools, and warm weather, quick early thaw. Now, do you think? What do you think, backseaters? Can we get around this, or is this? No, you're gonna have to make a left. I'm gonna have to make a left, right? Yeah, and go. It was funny. You gotta go east to go west. Actually, I'm gonna go east anyhow. I'm going down to. I'm gonna take you guys by where the shots fired Saturday night um, occurred. And it's the third time we've been to this house. I'm not going to give you the address, but be close enough to know. Third time we've been to this house on a shots fired. And, uh, it's one of our top hot spots. Caller can hear a lot of banging noises and screaming from the apartment. Can I get a squad to assist? Well, I bet I know who that is. We were just there in a domestic. Happy oh. thank you for you. So if you live on the east side, the Battle Creek area, there's been a there's been a series of shooting incidents. Last Saturday, the first one took place at Lake Phelan in parking lot number one. Very unusual to have several rounds fired off, two different guns, two cars shooting at each other in Lake Phelan, and. Uh, no one showed up at the hospital, so the likelihood that anybody got hit was slim. But there were several cars in the lot that were just parking there, enjoying the day. And by the way, Saturday and Sunday at Phelan Park, two of the most busiest, beautiful days we've had. Yeah, they were beautiful. You were out Saturday? I was working Saturday night. And you didn't come past the house? I might have come grill back. Going. Oh, I'm, this was later, though. Oh, okay. I was out later. Yeah, we had the grill going. I just needed to get out and do a little work. And Me I could and tell, I could tell things were going to pop off. It was I had one of those instincts that Minneapolis was going crazy all day Saturday. Yeah. All right. I mean, there was just. And by the way, for those of you who live in Minneapolis, I got to tell you because I monitored the radio traffic on the secret channel they were on. Your Minneapolis police officers did an absolutely amazing job on Saturday. Responding to all sorts of activities, robberies, <laughs> stolen cars. They have they had a task force that worked Saturday. Absolutely a phenomenal job over there. If they could do that three or four days a week, they could clear the problem up. Wow! But it's just a matter of have, having enough enough uh, bodies. Actually, we've driven by this house before. Now that I'm here at Pedersen, on Pedersen. Scenic. 
Uh, I recall actually doing this on live on patrol. But I'm going to drive down scenic from the east. Can you imagine what it's like to live in a neighborhood where two or three cars are shooting at each other? 19 rounds were found on the ground. 19 casings, not rounds. Rounding technically includes the bullet. Right. Casings, just the bullet's gone, been shot. But this is scenic. We're in the 2100 block here at, at scenic. And very peaceful, calm neighborhood normally. Uh, having said that, a dead body was thrown out of a car back there for once last year. Oh, well, this is interesting. Very interesting. We gotta see what's going on here. Hit that mute button, will you, Ruff? Yeah. So anyhow, that car was unrelated. Unrelated, but we thought we'd check on it just to make sure. But since it was, we wanted to keep it on mute and kits, it's unrelated. But we're just gonna back up a few houses here. So anyhow, we know that uh, kids were shooting at each other, the same group of kids shooting at each other over by Phelan. And uh, I can't tell you how we know that, but we don't have enough information yet to arrest anybody and then of course later on at night combination of a drive-by here in the neighborhood and um, So we've been keeping an eye on this neighborhood to make sure that there's not another shooting here. 114. 314. 317. Six hours smelling at Holiday for disorderly. The female on scene that was trespassed before, she's back on scene. Probably once removed, it's me a black female. Blonde, wearing white and black, black pink and white shirt, and a black Mickey Mouse PJ pants. So anyhow, several rounds yeah, found up here where we were, and also more rounds found down here on the street by Patterson here. Wow. And uh, one of the cars that was seen leaving the scene was chased by the St. Paul Police Department. And uh, went down here and got on McKnight, going north. All right. They got the plate, car went down here, got on McKnight, went north, and of course they they lost it. Maplewood Police Department spotted it. Went all the way up McKnight to Highway 36. Ramsey County Sheriff's Office it as well. Chased it west on uh, Highway 36 and lost it. Thing with the car was traveling over 120 miles an hour. And um, That one got away, but there was another car that was involved as well. Yeah. Is that Holmes car? St. Paul Police Department did a uh, search warrant on the house, got everybody out. They don't believe everybody that was there for the shooting stayed stayed around long enough. And uh, but they got some good clues. All you really need is good clues, right, Rev? Yeah. So that's a caper we're working on. You also heard about the woman over on Snelling Avenue between uh, St. Clair and Randolph that was, her door was kicked, broken down, and she was sexually assaulted and robbed. 
one of the biggest cases we've had in a long time. Biggest, I mean, horrific cases we've had in a long time. So everybody's actively looking for that suspect. A little bit of work going on here, huh? Yeah, this is going to just... I, I, I can't wait to see how it's going to end up. Well, how is it going to... You're trying to put the bus lane in there too, right? right. Express bus? To go to Woodbury. To Woodbury. Yeah. Express bus. They originally were going to put a train up. Thankfully, they didn't spend all that money on the train. Trains cost a lot more than buses, folks. That's all I can tell you. Right. That... that uh, you know, they're debating whether to put a train or a bus line on West 7th Street now. You heard that? Oh, no. Yeah, so some people want a train, some people want a bus line. But the bus line is like a quarter of the cost. What does, what does the business community do? Well, they don't want to lose their parking, of course. Right. 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 Blue winter jacket and blue jeans. I'm just was last seen hopping the fence toward 280. The bus got to take a little detour around there with all that work, huh? Yeah. The Third Street bus. 4442, 4473. So, backseater admins, Dano, Dan just if you can Thank remember you. the. 44, the uh, Two things: tunnel to towers. May 11th, check the check the link on Live on Patrol, and then 24-hour marathon a week before then. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, six to six. Six p.m. to six. We do have to do an eight-hour chunks because Facebook will not allow you to do more than an eight-hour stream. Right. Copy. So what's your what, what twelve hours are you working, Rev? Twelve hours. <laughs> Twenty what eighteen? <laughs> well we're gonna let you get some sleep. Yeah. We gotta find a day crew to work like from six AM to noon. Well the parade actually there's a Cinco de Mile there is a parade again. Oh is last there? couple years they canceled the parade, but there is a parade. Nine o'clock, I think, is line up. Ten o'clock, the parade, and then the, kind of the street activities and food and everything starts about noon or one o'clock. That's about the time I'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna ride with me, and then we'll let yeah. you sleep for a few hours. Yeah. Is that just is that your That's plan? That's the plan. Okay. That might work. Three, two, seven. JJU yeah. seven seven three. Well, the way that guy's driving, I'm just thinking he might. Captain, he yeah. Might, he might need. Three eighty. Can someone run Juliet Juliet uniform seven seven three? Juliet Juliet uniform seven seven three. He might have just been frustrated. Twenty two Ram. 2500 blue. Uh, Registers to Conway Street. Uh, yeah, that's good. Thank you. He slowed down now. If he drives like an idiot, I'll call you for backup. So he lives over here. 6301 GOT. Yeah. He took off though. I think he was mad at that car. I think he was frustrated with that car. Or, you know, some people are just frustrated in general. Yeah, see how fast he takes off. That's where he's going. Maybe he's going home now. Yep. Probably is. Should we give us some spiritual guidance? Because <laughs> they say Conway. I was thinking it was the other Conway, but it's definitely this Conway. 
I, I'll talk to him. Oh yeah. Crazy you don't even know we're here. Yeah, I see you. Greetings. Hi. How are you? Doing all right. You. S I'm assuming it's because I left the yeah. stop sign a little fast. Yeah, you feeling? think? Like you were mad at somebody or what? I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I stepped out a little too fast. As soon as I, I got right halfway through, I'm just like, I'm, in the I'm probably by stepping on this thing too fast. I didn't slow down. Thank you for recognizing that. All right. Have a good night. You too. Thank good you. Good night. Thank you. Well. He knew. He apologized. He was aware. So we're trying to trying to bring about change in behavior, not necessarily revenue. Yeah, he's pretty uh, tired. He needs to go take a nap. Yeah. What else? What other new news? New news, Rev. New news. Let me think. Yeah, let's think. By the way, we're going to do a ton of shout outs tomorrow. Last channel, Pat's Pat's Pat. Pat's Pat. Because Pat was not here, and so we didn't get the shout out list until after we were already in progress and we didn't know we got it. So, but there's a lot of people we need to thank and recognize. So, Pat will be back tomorrow night early. Rev might volunteer to work late. I don't know. You need to, maybe you should practice working twelve hours straight before you do the twenty four hour marathon. Well I think I do twelve hours a few days. <laughs> yeah, but I mean live on patrol twelve hours. Oh. So fifty three eighty. What else do I have to report in the law enforcement you world? For, uh, What's you going know. Time is it? We should go back by the foundry. <laughs> he's probably gone. See if he's now. still sitting outside. He's gone. He's gone. And the funny thing is. He might be a girl. I don't know about the tracking. Because he said his own I ain't no man. Then he changed it. I, I think you're, well, you know, I'm. listen, you're a brilliant person. But you might be overthinking that one. Okay. Thank you, babe. I mean, but it's good to consider all options. Yeah. Right? Enjoy. 983 Hazelwood Street for 911. Open line within 16 meters. We do have a history of 911 calls for them this phone. I have call back a child answer that's refusing to put a period on the phone. Call That's my favorite one. Hey, did you guys watch the tour of the comm center? Backseaters? If you didn't, it's on the, on the Facebook page. It's not on YouTube. Live on patrol. Comm center tour. Nancy Pass, thanks again to the director of the Ramsey County Communication Center for being our host. Nancy, thanks so much. That was awesome. And it'll open up at the end of the month, I think. And until then, the dispatchers and telecommunicators are working out of our Shoreview office. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they're all crammed in up there. It's not a very fun space, but the new space is going to be amazing. Amazing.
I appreciate you, Rev. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's going on at uh, 5th and Minnesota. Well, let's go down there. It was, it was kind of crowded today. Myself, 360, we're meeting Kaj Grove at 620 Bailey to change custody of this individual. That, uh, our building's been kind of busy lately, too. Yeah. Yeah, you had, there was another death there, right? Yeah. Somebody died, but... And the father came and talked to us. We see the father every day. We didn't even know. I don't know. Just so you know, I'm going to tell you that I worked... I worked a few... Black Kia, North Carolina Rice, and Order Place, driving around. Okay, going this way. I don't think people die from rolling off the bed. Yeah, well... Right? Yeah. Well, that's what the father said. No, I'm just <laughs> telling you that. No, he He's said, like, he, "Would you like, just say?" Right. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. A black Kia sedan, driving northbound on Rice, driving erratically with no rear plate at 2307. Yeah, we don't. It's very difficult for a person to kill themselves falling off a bed. You know what? It's probably that Kia SUV. There's a window. There's a plate in the rear window. It was parked there a little while ago. So, yeah. I don't know who's handling it. St. Paul's handling it? Yeah. I know you sent me the, you guys sent me the message that that was somebody's theory. But I don't think a police officer wouldn't come up with that theory. So I don't know whose theory it was. The tenant. you're higher and you get the force coming down. You, your head's not going to hit the table that hard to kill you. Unless you're way up there. But did he have some drug issues too or not? <sighs> Father said he did. Okay. Anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. You know what? This in that song, collapse. anything is possible. You know what the next line is? What? Wishes do come true. You know? So I don't know if that applies here. Right. Right. Anything is possible. I watched what I would categorize as... You know I've watched hundreds and hundreds of movies. Yeah. I'm going to put this one in the, the bottom 10 of all time. <laughs> bottom 10. Do not rent it. Even though the trailer is semi-enticing. Netflix. And you watched it. Drive away. I, I thought it was two people trying to avoid the mob. The, the, the trailer made it look like it was two girls trying to avoid the mob, they drive away, they had a case full of what appeared from the trailer to be money. Okay? Uh -huh. It wasn't money. But I, you don't know that. Believe me, I watched a two-hour movie in 15 minutes. So, I'm just telling you guys, don't rent it. <laughs> had some uh, legitimate actresses too. Oh, Matt Damon's even in it for a short blurb. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that. Matt Damon plays the role of a United States Senator. Oh, wow. But, you know, I'm just saying to each his own. There's been a lot of 
also on my top ten was David Bowie, the man who fell from Earth. Right. I've, I've uh, back in the seventies. Glanced at that one. I have. I still haven't figured that one out. Forty years later. Forty fifty. David Bowie's still alive, doing doing songs, though, right? Yeah, he's still alive. Huh? Jeez, the guy's gotta be ancient. As old as me, I mean. <laughs> Sherburn from the 9-11. Female threatening to have somebody come to the house. Six, Linus is connected three times. 150, I'll be back. Sherburn is always something. I also watched Denzel Washington in The Little Things. Police investigative show. That wasn't bad. 119. Code 4. What was it? 117. I haven't seen the, the uh, new Ghostbusters yet. It's on my list. But I rewatched the last Ghostbusters to get ready for the new one. Interesting. I like the last one. Question yeah. When is Mickey's Diner open? Well, you know, I ask that question every time well, I go by, right? Right. I, I don't know. I mean, you and I could open that. We we, we were the hosts of the Mickey's Diner. So she did an update. We knocked it out of the park, right? That's right. She's visiting her relative at the Red address. Rev and I run it. Female outside right now and made a phone call to unknown people to have them People would shoot. come from all over. They'd come downtown. I mean, it's been in the yeah. movies several times. In video, music videos. Yeah. It's a unique spot. We want Mickey's. I, I could probably get the Two real eight. Mickey to come down and make a visit. There you go. I mean, I've met Mickey a few times, you know. Average gold unknown clothing, and she came on it. Did you know that once in a while he run he works in Times Square? <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Well, they're going to go several ways now. 3453, check in 7. 4253, okay. Yeah, that would be the life. Put a Mickey costume on and then go to Times Square. Yeah? Take pictures of people. Bumblebee's there, too. <laughs> Transformer. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on down here in West 7th Street. It's a Thursday night, not a Friday night, but... Hockey? Yeah. Time is it? The hockey game is over. I would think, right? Yeah. Not a lot of buzz on the street. They must have lost. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, either way, hopefully they tried some different lines for a little bit. See how the mix goes. Fifty-five twelve. You know the reason they can't buy many players is because of the money. Can you log the me money they spent on. Parisi. And his partner. I'll be out with Golf Kilo Charles 264. A couple uh, females, maybe three in it. 181, I copy on channel 2 and 3. You're busy down here, though. Yeah. You know, I have not watched the Twins game yet this year. Have you? Uh, no, just highlights. Yeah, I'm like, I normally watch. Well, the hockey's not First over. Day. Hockey and basketball are over here. Oh, but I'm a baseball guy. Yeah. We have 24, 27 floral drive. 24, 27 floral, 23, 15. Yeah, Sooner and Parisi, you know, those stars played, the, uh, the North Stars, yeah. North stars. The Wild played 
paid a lot to get them and then when they traded them away I don't know how that works but they had some guarantee or something that they had to pay so their cap in terms of how much you can pay out for other players but I guess that's gone this year I think or maybe next year maybe one more year of their Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Romeo, Romeo, two seven five. Bravo, Bravo, Romeo, Romeo. Have you eaten at Del Paso yet? No, you asked me that a couple weeks ago, but no, I have not got there. You liked it? No, I like smorgies. Smorgies. Back seat it works in the courtyard. <laughs> really? Yeah. They were very excited that I came in there. Well, too. that was nice. <laughs> they should be. We haven't found too much disorder yet tonight, yeah, have we? Except no. for the foundry. Show me out with one. Uh, it's going to be Charlie, Charlie, Frank, 775 at Burger King. Have you at Burger King, 2372? Peaceful night in Rice They're Park. They're finishing up these uh, bus stops. What are they going to do with them? Now you see how this one, yeah, they're going to be shelters. Shelters. The one down here has a cover yeah. on the top already. On Fifth of Minnesota, they have a they put a cover on today. You know, you're like the mayor of downtown, aren't you? No, no, there's a mayor. No, but he's the mayor of the city. You're like the downtown mayor. <laughs> the mayor of downtown. The true mayor of downtown. Rev. Daryl Smith. Have you been in here? The new offices? I haven't. No, I haven't been in the yeah. county attorney's office. Who else yeah. is there besides the county? Uh, what are those people called? Civil? Yeah, well, our civil people are there, yes. Yeah. Yeah, our civil yes, deputies. 24. 24, 2018. Look at all those cars and. St. Paul has increased ticketing. One guy had four tickets on. See how they put the cover on this? Yeah, well, I like it. But the problem is, if they don't own the car, the ticket doesn't really impact them, right? Right. But the guys don't care. They said they're not going to, uh, they don't do nothing. All they do is write to a ticket. 2318. did have a meeting with the transit chief last week. He is going to make a big push to uh, fix the problems on the trains. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She just said GLC, please. Fentanyl. Oh, my wife rode the bus, the train the other day. Yep. She said the guy sat right across from her, pulled out his aluminum foil, and yep. lit up. Yeah, well, the chief wants to fix that. and I said, wow. Well, I hope be glad to help them. I just three one six. I can take that noise complaint. Twenty three o'clock. Transit police out with a guy. At twenty three. Must have been a problem at the at the shelter, or they probably would turn that over to St. Paul. A lot of layers of law enforcement there. Maybe one seven eight three checking seven. City police, county sheriffs. State Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, Metro Transit authorities. Now the railroad police are going to be licensed police officers. Wow. I suppose that's the matter. Coming for that man? Yeah. Suspect is an Asian male, 30 to 40, 5'4", thin build, has a mustache, lasting wearing a sweater. Is there anything to copy? 
Is there a is Saloon the Saloon used to be downtown? Or was is it on Grand Avenue? Saloon. Saloon restaurant. Wait, Captain 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 my wife and I went to the Salou restaurant. Forty-four twenty-nine. Then to the LAC with the adult meal. In Edina the other day. And uh, it's a French restaurant, in case you didn't know. Three two six. Oh, no, that's not good. It was on Grand Avenue, but it closed. Oh, yeah. January. S-A-L-U-T. Yeah, it was right there. What did you think that was? Salad? No, I know. It was. I'm like... I had to look it up. When I was at the restaurant last night, I had to look it up to know what it means. And what does it mean? Well, it's a little bit more complicated. It's more of a greeting. It's more like a cheers but you can use it in a generic greeting. But before you're going to eat and you have wine or something, you look to your table and you raise your glass and say, Salut! But you can use it in a lot of different ways. You know, I think that's uh, coming back. I told you I took French. Yeah, you did. And, and uh, Yeah, I do remember Salut. And you would, you know, Salut. Sal, is it Salut? Like, well, look at the comments because people... Three, know, yeah, three, one, whether it's Salut... Salu or Salu. I don't know. I, I always thought it was Salu. But oh, we, wait. We had an amazing waiter. Hold on. If you know, if you've been to the Salu restaurant and you dine over there in France, tell Kevin he was amazing. We had an amazing waiter named Kevin. He also serves as the bartender. But yeah. Kevin made our dining experience very pleasurable. Yeah. But I'm sorry to hear that the one on Grand closed. Nice atmosphere. Salut. Salute. The T is not. That lady's singing. She's got her headphones on. And she's singing. We'll let you join a little bit. <laughs> the tea is not silent. It's not. No. Silent. Well. So how do you pronounce it? She says, salute. Salute. Okay. Okay. Which makes sense. Well, I, I like the way salute sounds. Grand Avenue, yeah, it used to be on Grand. Yeah. Yeah, we just looked it up. That's one of the latest restaurants to close up there in January. They closed, it looks like. Right. Well, you know, COVID killed Grand Avenue. Yeah. Really messed up Grand Avenue. Well, anyhow, salute. Can you Dinah? Tell Kevin he was amazing. Tell him you tell him you heard on live on patrol. <laughs> when you get good help, you know. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that would make you want to go back. Right. right? Good service. Good service. I'm not gonna tell you why we were in the Dinah area. We wouldn't normally go that far for dinner, but we had another mission over on that side of town. <laughs> so you went way over there on a mission. Yeah. And that mad at well, it's a mission that had to be had to be carried out in that part of town. Might have even been a police mission, surveillance of sorts. Nothing like squeezing in a nice family dinner while you're on surveillance. <laughs> That's happened a thousand times. Hey, honey, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> She's gotten wise to me over the years, though. Yeah. That's the problem.
turned the radios off. Sounds like it, but no. They must have decided they're just going to sit back and listen to us babble. <laughs> We are we are very excited about the 24 hour marathon. 24 hour marathon. Night before Cinco de Mayo. Through Cinco de Mayo. Six to six. Six to six. Six to six. Opening fishing is that week or the next week? I'm not sure. Not sure. What time is it, Rev? The time is 11:26. Yeah. 55 What's this? This is my coolest ring right here. Check that out. Huh? How about those red lights? See, we have a cruise mode where instead of flashing, they're just on yeah. right little boy next to us in the car folks that was waving to us maybe like a three-year-old four-year-old yeah. yeah you made mom's day because he hey mom he's laughing too hi how's it going buddy how's it going nice to see you good thanks for waving to us oh. <laughs> have a good night you stopped her from crying and screaming. Yeah. Well, hopefully they didn't tell the little girl if she stops crying or we're turning you over to the police. Oh, you know, they do that all the time. I know, I know, I know. But you got you to gotta play back and be like, yeah, because I'm going to give you all the candy you want. Yeah, <laughs> they, where is that? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> they get their kids and get away from you. Certainly slowed down a little bit, huh, Ruff? Yeah, I want to uh, give an update. We are we've the increase of unsheltered that are inboxing me. I know you're listening. I hope your cars are still charged enough you can turn them on. Clear advice with us. We are doing everything possible to reach out to the three of you that have called this week. Tomorrow we hope to give you what you need so that you can at least make it through the uh, weekend. So you know who you are. Give me a call this tomorrow and we'll make sure we get you what you need. That was kind of you. That was a kind of update. Yeah, I almost forgot. That's good. Happy to respond to us. The 23 Sycamore Street was for DOC. Yeah. College Brothers at the Addis trying to help friendly, but people on scene are not letting them. College Street in the airport is putting in the address. Andre, he has oh, you heard that was has, Andre? Has, I can do it. Is hear. he a pop or what? <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm watching. Can you at least say my name? <laughs> Andre, Star Wars. You're amazing. We talked about you earlier, though, Andre. Yeah, quit waking up. He probably just waking up. This is morning. We're going to run into this call here. Rev, can you just tap that right here? What's the address on Sycamore? Just take, give me the address right away. Sycamore 103. 103. Read the. Right, let's see here. Uh, Com stated her brother is at the. Oh, it moved. Address trying to help. 
A little louder, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, if I can get it. Com stated her brother is at the address trying to help his friend leave the address. People in the address not letting Com's brother leave the address. Com stating there are 14 males living in the address. Com not on scene. Com giving information from the brother. 101. Uh, 103. It's way hang on. Your answer, yeah. I don't know. Well, so this is. may be an Elsa Mejia, 28-year-old Hispanic male, will be in a white Chevy Silverado. Also, saying there's possible weapons in the house. Mm. Well, I don't see. Is this the same call? Is it updated? Silverado? Uh, yep. Silverado. There is possible weapons in the house. He's probably available. Can you start the new uh, scene? You can uh, make it into admin. Copy, don't use the same address. You alright? Yeah. Back in. Oh, yeah. Negative, I'll give you an address here in a second. You didn't call the police, did you? 9172, copy, you're in route 755 prior. 10 Can Can Wonderland for the alarm. Unknown if it's silent or audible. Zone six. I don't know about this far. address. Anytime there's a secondary call, like just, I don't know. Think, just, you know make Can sense. you use 438 Daily Street as the address? Hmm? 11 Tango Traffic. I don't think that's a Silverado, is it? That's a van, right? Two oh, vans, yep. Yeah. Dale University. Kilo Tango Romeo 665. Kilo Tango Romeo 665. Dale University 2332. Oh. I'm suspicious the address might not be exactly right. Although, the simplest problem would be if it's east instead of west. It says west, right? Down the floor. Uh, yeah, I looked at it pretty close. It says West Sycamore. But. Sycamore West, yeah. 103, right? Yeah. So, you gotta consider what the possibilities are. Yeah, I almost hit that fence, but I didn't. The car should have warned me. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hit the curb. She, I don't see a Silverado there, do you? No. Unless the Silverados have... Silverados are like half pickups, right? Pickups, yeah. Well, let's go down to East. Second part. So right here now, we're, we're in the East Quadrant. Somebody ran through that wall once, huh? Man. So I'm sure the St. Paul oh, Police Department might do a little knock on the door there. As they get there. Well, we didn't see much movement, did we, Rev? Nope. We gave them a light, a siren. We said there's 14 people there holding him against his will. Ah, it didn't really make any sense. But he's still calling. Not silver, that's a... What was that? Dodge? I don't know. Check those houses up for 
I know it's down here further, but I'm just kind of curious if there's any other possibilities. This guy's tailgating me. This guy's in a hurry too. Two seven two. Two seven two, go ahead. Comments added. Big marks to two six two Tango, two seven five. So this assisted. Copy at twenty three thirty six. Three twenty three advice. Well, I don't know. No St. Paul is on scene yet. Two twenty Tango. No. Two twenty Tango. They're all in route. I can't see the last update. Forward, three sisters are seated. Let me have the TV check. Probably, thank you. Three cars are in training. You're welcome, Tracy. There's I saw that the dangles. Update was though that the comp had left the stated he did leave the address and is getting money requested from the people at the address. White Chevy Silverado. Anyhow, it sounds like they sent the man to get money, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why he would give him money, but. Tango, are you guys I'm arguing? Huh? Tango, are you guys arguing? Tango, are you guys arguing? Tango, are Your cup? People from drinking Diet Coke when they're outside a bar. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. And, and you guys together, you guys have the best looking tennis shoes. You got matching tennis shoes. They're matching. How'd you? You got on what? Jordan ones and the other ones called dunks. dunks. And can you jump higher? I don't know. Like stuff. Huh? We just bag to be like Yeah, it's nice. They look nice nice shoes. <laughs> okay. No, of course not. Night. You too, thank, thank you. Me. We'll be here to protect you. How are you? What's going on? What's going on? Matching shoes. Yeah. What did she say? Jordan ones and one is ones, and the other one are dunks. Dunks. You know, you learn a lot out here. Yeah, and don't you know? ask me the difference. That's a Beverly question. No, they got it. I mean, sure, there's differences. Yeah, but those are close, I think. Pretty much identical. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't you, you got to believe the, the dunks probably got a little more stuff in them, right? You no. Can, you don't think? Jordan ones? More than the Jordan dunks? Yeah. Aren't, aren't those Jordan dunks? Maybe they weren't Jordan. Maybe they're just I don't dunks. Know who, oh, boy, you can start at something. Now, I guarantee you. Well, someone's got to... Somebody here. knows. Tango, 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 copy on route to the 911 open lap. Party starting in the background. 100 bucks on street one to 2340. 
Somebody's gonna know. Sheila, what's it down? No one's responded yet. 202 West 7th Street. Kellogg and Chestnut, right down there on the corner. Yeah. Fine. Parties arguing in the background. Looks like the address was changed to 202 7th Street West. Yeah. Which is right where we were down there, but. That's what you're saying. Cops are over at Billy's on Grand doing a little surprise stop. Uh oh. What? We're getting called uh, people from all over the country and none of them. We're getting called what? We're what? getting called uh, responses from all over the country, but none of them are talking about the dunks. <laughs> called his mail their phone, so he's bleeding. That's what they do well donks all right here we go is it donks or nothing dunk dunks nothing tops jordan ones okay dunks are nikes more so a skateboarder sneaker okay but i'm just gonna say Jordans or Nikes too. Because they had, though she had Nikes, she had a Nike swish on the Jordans too. Yeah. Uh, dunks are better, Rev. Well, you just heard the opposite from the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we got to ask. Do you want to take Tango Coffee? See if you can see the dunkers. I'll be clear, Port. I'll also be out on chat with Oakdale, same location. They're right here. They're going back in. Yeah. Oh. 800 people. Hi, I'm glad y'all still watching. Did you see the uh, press conference about the copper? Which copper? You know, y'all make the news a lot lately. Well, I wasn't there, but the, the mayor, the, the governor of Minnesota was at the press conference. Over, I think it was over on Payne Avenue, talking about all the copper being stolen out of Oh, the yeah, copper. I thought you meant the copper. Thank you, copper. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 copper. <laughs> and, um... They made that a priority. Top priority. Yeah, top priority. Well, and I'm not saying it shouldn't be one of the top priorities, but. Six seven three eight. Assuming that. The rape, the robbery of the woman on Stelling Avenue is a higher priority, right? Oh, no, I made the mistake and turned down this street. Now we're gonna get into the middle of an argument with the. With this guy here. Here's the white Silverado. Greetings. Do you understand English? A little bit. A little bit. Are you? Huh? Yeah. Who is that? Where is she? Oh, good. Stand by a minute. Greetings. Are you his niece? Yes. We got a call that he was being forced to go get money. Yes. Is that true? Yes. He's forced to go get money? Yeah. Well, why? what's forcing him to get the money? 
que el, el, el problema fue de que yo nomás ando dándole raya a una muchacha que apenas ahora entró a trabajar y entonces ella me buscó que si le podía dar renta en mi casa. Entonces, porque entonces no tiene quien la raite. Okay, break it into smaller chunks for me. What? So, Hill Boulevard and Cemetery West, where DOC for a female assaulting other two-year-old white female. Yep. Inside the house. Yeah. Or where is your location? Where is the lady? She's in the back seat. Okay. Uh, she uh, started working. Twenty-one. These addresses don't make sense. And um, she um, he came to pick her because she was living here because yeah, he was going to take her over to his place to live so I can be more closer to where they work at. Right. And he came here to pick her up. The man that lives there was um, telling her she couldn't leave until she paid him something that supposedly her kid broke, but it wasn't her kid. And um, he told him that if he didn't go and get the money, um, he was not going to let the money go. To Shut pay for down. a broken item or what? Yeah. So did he pay him? Yeah. yeah. How much? 100. And she, he let her go then? Yeah. Which house are we talking about? One, 103 or what? Yep, yep. All right. So who is... Are, you're in the next car over? Yeah. How come you guys are here? Because uh, he called us to come. To come and help? Yeah. Now, is everything done now? Is there... Yeah, they just wanted to fix the problem because they didn't want to have any problems. What, what, what was the thing that was broken that cost $100? It was... I don't want to speak to it. It was like a window. Okay. Does everybody feel safe right now? You're all good? The problem solved or what? Yes. All right, are you guys heading on your way now? Yes. You're leaving? You're a great job. What's your name? Amy. Amy, thank you very much. You're very helpful. And what's his name? Nelson. Was it? Nelson. Nelson, you good? Happy you there. All right, thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Avenue East on the 911 hang of 11 meters. I should have taken Spanish when I was in college instead of German. I think you said that last week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now it's, now it's proof positive. Which way are they coming from? Problem solved, let's leave the neighborhood before the guy in the 103 decides. He wants more money. Yeah. Occupied three or four times. She did a nice job though, translating for us, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I thought she was giving big chunks. Yeah. Where is the chase? Exit to Dowling, not the registered owner. Oh, no license. That's what we're here. Copy, we're 33 emergency traffic. Yeah. On He's on LTEC 1. He's on LTEC 1. Hold that radio, will you, Rev? Yeah. See if we can figure it out. Did you call in? No. They canceled the call. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, okay. They canceled the call when they saw the notes about what they were doing. I don't know. We're not locating anyone at this address. Yeah, we're moving on. Negative. Six by five was the last known location southbound. South from Chicago, or 60th North on Chicago. Alright, I'll go uh, check the RO's address. Check the circle back. Don't worry, I'm pretty far north. 
You're welcome. Try to do that. If we got nothing further, we can probably check the area, see if it pops out. Maybe clear the channel here. Yeah, I'm not sure you can drop the patch for now. Yeah, what's up? Come over right quick, man. Yeah, I'm low for a minute, but I'm headed to a chase. I got a hit and run right now. Oh, six Metro, can you add a cop to alert for him? He got a hit. Copy, we will. State Patrol, West Metro is now releasing oh, the path on the Altec 1. That's why you did the D1. Fishfield is staying on Altec 1. Do you have a plate for that vehicle? Alright, so, I'm Cambridge William 438. Yeah, did, did you get hit? Yeah, he fucking did. Alright, well, fucking you're gonna have to call 911 and have St. Paul come out and take a you got a, You got the plate? Yeah. He's in a trailblazer. He changed the plate on me because when I got behind him the second time, he literally, uh, it was a different plate on the car. Let me take a picture of whatever you got there. We can look for it, but right now uh, we got a... PGM 816. Can I take it's a, a It's an all-black trailblazer. Is that it right there? Blacked out plate. Yeah, that's a video. That's the, uh, the picture of the thing and then his plate, and then that's a, a video of his car. Right there? Yeah, that, uh, that video. Okay. It's an all-black trailblazer. It got blacked out. Where, did it, where was back. it last? Uh, over here on White Bear. He was going towards uh, Maryland. White right. Bear? Yeah. Way over there, though. No, no, not White Bear. We, were, came, we came from White Bear. He just was over here. Jackson? Uh, right. On this road right here by Rice the holiday. Street? Rice Street. And he was Rice Street? Rice Street going towards Maryland. That's all right. Last time I if you got damage, you need a report. Yeah, I got damage on Call it. Call 911. Go to the holiday and tell them you're waiting for a report. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. All right, so... Chase coming in from Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, down there near airport. I think I think that's what he meant, right? When he said 66. Darren, did you get a description at all of that car? One, two, one, I'm here too. Copy. No idea. I lost sight of it. If you're still on LTAC from that chase, do you have a description for us? Gets hit and the guy changes the plate. How long ago did you get hit? Well, he said he got hit right up on a race, race Maryland. That's a trailblazer, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. PGM 816. Out with the mail on the white rail platform. They should handle that as long as we handled their sycamore call, right? Right. 2 It's good for training. Seems like yesterday I was training. On the same streets. Just close, I can back 275, Wheeler Parkway, Unit 101 for 911. Open lines, there is a language barrier. There was a female whispering, unable to give address. Saying apartment 101, you could hear a male voice in the background arguing with the female. The RP was 11.5 meters of the address. Got a lot of languages in a Twin Cities road. Yeah, uh, quite a few. 25, 26. We should make a list. You'd miss somebody. Thing is, we speak the universal language of love. <laughs> Let's go check on Willard's. I don't know. 
don't think they've solved the Robert Brown murder yet, have they? You heard anything in the neighborhood? No, I went to his funeral. I figured. Yeah, it was. Ugh. Well, what's the scuttlebutt? Nothing. Uh, nothing? Nothing. Somebody's got to know something. Robert Brown was at Willard's here, and as he left, some people hit him with a car. Right here, this intersection, and then shot him. Right? Yeah. Right here north of Willard's. Crazy. <coughs> right here. Right here, there's Robert Brown's <coughs> There's this picture, there's this frog town flowers. Nice man, reportedly. Oh, yeah. Coached, you know? Coached against me. Yeah. <laughs> Played for Johnny Howard. He did? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Well, that wouldn't surprise anybody. Disorderly people out on the university. And... What was the name of the bar that used to be there, right on university and syndicate? Arnellis? Yeah. You remember Arnellis? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you have bad memories or what? Oh What's no, it? no, 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 deal? no, that's uh, Miss Arnella. I helped her move there I know. from the Metro to Arnella. Asbury and Inglewood on an in-progress disorderly. Caller saying four people broke her window with a bat. Caller's not answering the TC's question. Uh, we'll go to that one instead. These things are hot. Possibly that the caller's in a vehicle. Uh -oh. It'll be a van in town and country, red and blue in color. Caller's in a, in, a, in a vehicle, right? Yeah. Check right, Rev. Clear. 616, send me that. It's right over by Hammond University. Where is that? Hasbury and Inglewood. One block north of Minnehaha. Can please record this? 179, clear report. In fact, it's right there. I used to, I stayed in the dormitory there. Make a smart call. Send us that Hasbury and Inglewood call. Review a couple blocks out. Oh, they're only two blocks away. Four way stop, checking right. Probably should go all the way to Clear, Minnehaha. Right? Well, go left here. So we're a mile and a half from the caller location. One two, we'll call for it. One ten tango. Stand by for impact. One eleven Tango, zero six eight five two four. So we got a disorderly call on 1300. 1300. 111 Tango, is it code 4 for medics? You got people smashing windows with a bat, right? Stand by yep. for impact. That guy didn't really see it. Medics clear. Medics clear. So you're starting to take me seriously now when I say that, aren't you? Yeah. Never know. Thank you, kind sir.
Yeah. But no, I didn't. What, what the you van say? didn't have any lights on. What van? Burgundy van parked okay. in the middle of the street. Okay. Well, you don't, parked in the middle of the street? Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? I don't see the middle of the street. Is it on the side? On, on the side. To the right? Yeah. Oh, it crossed. Then I said it's over here now. It's not still here, right? Not there. Yep. Yeah, it crossed. I saw it cross in the rear view mirror. But you didn't think it had any light. Asbury's one down to our left here. Did you call? Yes. You did? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting out to talk to you guys. Okay. Yeah. Come on up a little further here. Okay. Oh, follow me, follow my car. Okay, wait a minute. Thompson Ed Van. Glass. Thompson Ed Van there. Got it, thank you. Yep. 114. And she didn't have a back window. What? 430 jail assist fire with traffic control. I wonder if she was over there because she was hiding. What do you think? Yeah, because there was no lights on when yeah. I saw her. She was hiding. Well, you did a good spot in that, Rev. 323 Tango. 323 Tango. Did they say blue and red? Can we drive over this glass or not? Uh, negative. One seven nine. Just go close. <coughs> huh? go close to the right. Well, I don't know if I want to get that glass. Yeah, we'll take glass. What? You know? Oh, he's going right over it. He's going right no, over it. No, he's going right over it. Now they're going to go right over it. Kilo Alpha November. Alright, we're gonna go over it here. There we go. Asbury. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. church right there on Inglewood is where my lovely wife agreed to marry me. Chris, you're at about female 1873 Taylor. Of 1873 Taylor for a minute. We'll see if we get any more suspect information from the officers there, because that's what they're doing. They're interviewing her to see if they can get, get some more description of a car, person. been working well that can't be right oh yeah two hours and 43 minutes since we 43 seconds well let's let the back seaters go to sleep because they got to be well well rested for tomorrow night right that's right well rested 8 11 tomorrow night back seaters 8 11 and uh we will uh We'll see you tomorrow at 8.11. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope you stayed awake with us a little bit.
we'll get full updates tomorrow. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you. Say a little goodbye before we'll you see you, you tomorrow. <laughs>